Welcome to my channel Real Stories TV. For today's video let's talk about Niels Bohr, one of the most popular scientists back in the day. 1885 to 1962 was a Danish physicist who made significant contributions to the field of quantum mechanics and atomic physics. He is best known for his pioneering work on the structure of atoms and the development of the theory of complementarity. Bohr was born in Copenhagen, Denmark, in 1885, and was the son of a prominent physiologist. He studied physics at the University of Copenhagen, where he earned his doctorate in 1911. After completing his studies, he spent several years working with some of the leading physicists of the time, including Ernest Rutherford, who had discovered the atomic nucleus. In 1913, Bohr proposed his atomic model, which described the structure of atoms as having a central nucleus containing positively charged protons. Surrounded by negatively charged electrons in specific orbits or energy levels. The model also introduced the concept of quantum jumps, which explained how electrons could move between energy levels without occupying the space in between. Bohr's atomic model was a major breakthrough in understanding the behavior of atoms, and it helped to explain a wide range of phenomena, including the spectral lines of hydrogen. His work in this area earned him the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1922. In the years that followed, Bohr continued to work on the development of quantum mechanics, which became one of the most important areas of physics. He also played a key role in the Manhattan Project, a top-secret project during World War II to develop the first atomic bomb. Bohr was known for his philosophical views on physics, particularly his theory of complementarity, which argued that different models or descriptions of physical phenomena were complementary and could not be understood as separate or competing theories. This view, which was influenced by Bohr's interest in the philosophy of science, had a significant impact on the development of quantum mechanics and on the philosophy of science more broadly. In addition to his scientific work, Bohr was also a prominent advocate for international cooperation and peace. He was a strong supporter of the United Nations and served as the director of the Copenhagen Institute for Theoretical Physics until his death in 1962. Overall, Niels Bohr's contributions to physics and philosophy had a profound impact on our understanding of the natural world and continued to influence scientific research today. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and also click the notification button to get notified for more interesting and educational videos.